Hello guys, here's a slight um, appendix to the video that we've just had because not long after I did the video Arthur had told me that he'd re uh, released the next version of the software with the new B debugger system in it so what I thought I would do is I would add on to this video instead of redoing it but just add on the capabilities of this new debug system that he's added now I don't know if you know what it is but it it's a a D it's a C64 emulator but it's its sole purpose is not to is not to be like vice but it's actually to be the live debugger of the emulator so its main purpose is to show you what's going on and it goes into uber uber depth so what i'm going to do is going to show you a quick overview of the the new deep this new debugger so you have a complete un you have a, an understanding of all the the debugging systems that are in uh, Arthur's software but I'm going to do another video about the debugger itself because it is very very sophisticated very sophisticated so here we go so we're on our tutorial that was doing and the way to use the new debugger is you have to go into options then you have to go into debugger and you have to put a radio you have to tick the UC64 debugger and then when that happens these two dialog boxes open and so you have to point to where the the debug program is and also you've got to have these keywords or parameters and you've got to type them in properly because I hadn't typed them in properly and I went to Arthur and complained it doesn't work and Arthur went John you ain't typed it in properly I went okay okay user error so you've got to make sure the typed in properly or the C64 the, the C debugger will not recognize the breakpoints or the symbols that uh, Arthur's trying to pass across so once you've done that it's just like anything else you basically do debug so we're going to debug this program here we go and this is exactly what's happening in a 64 it's fascinating because when you've got the actual 64 in front of you you're just sit thinking eh, it's just blinking away it's not doing a lot but when you've got this debugger running actually running in in, in show me everything mode it's amazing what is actually going on and the problem is I could I could talk a long time about this debugger but I'm not going to do it in this video we'll, we'll do it for another one so I have I've just sparked the debugger up so it's just initialized the um, the emulator so I'm going to stop it and that's press F10 there you go and now I've stopped the emulator um, running so basically it's I have paused the CPU at this address E5D1 All right. so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on here and then I'm going to go page down no page up page up which is going to go backwards through the memory so as you can see we're at 94, 93, 92, 91, 90 and there's our code look that's our code that we've just compiled and uploaded but as you can see there's no there's there's no text there's no labels and and it can get a bit disheartening because you got to read that you got to read the manual that these guys have done because it does go in depth but as a quick cheat you go control shift f2 and there you go so it's now come up with the names that i got in my program so screen location is 09006 and looper yeah looper 
and screen location all right so if I go back to it and what we can do is we can put a breakpoint so let's say I'm going to put a breakpoint on there if I can get it oh it's not doing it hang on control F2 maybe I have to go back right breakpoint there we go put a breakpoint on it now and what you do you just click it and it goes red that means it's put a breakpoint on it but I'm going to show you how to do it from um, inside of CBM Studio anyway so there's the breakpoint and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to activate the emulator so press F11 well it would do Hang on. I think I broke it yeah I think I broke it <laughs> come on yeah something not right controller there we go right F10 yes. there we go we started it there we go right so SYS 4096 that's not the one that's not the one that's not the one right it's got to be that one is that one ah there there we go and what that should do, that should break on our system. And there it is. So if I do shift control F2 goes back. Then you can step through it by pressing F11. Oh no, F11 is activate, which it's just done. Ah. Right. We're gonna start that again. It's that I think it's F10 to step through. F11 restarts it. So we'll go back into it. See? Even I'm learning how to use this. Right, here we go. So F10 stop. We are going to click on it. No, I don't want to do it. Click on it and go up to our code. There we go. I'm going to put a breakpoint in. There we go. And then we're going to restart the emulator. There we go. And we're going to SYS 496 times by, no, times by, yeah, 9. There we go. And now it's stopped. And F10 should put a step us through it. So here we go. There we go. So TAY. And at the top, you can just see the thing so we're putting zeros in TAY and then we're loading the accumulator with one there you go it's one and then we're storing it in 0400 comma X which is in this top corner but you won't see it on here because it will be doing the scans and stuff like that so we're increasing X and Y and as you can see down the bottom this is where the raster this is where the raster is so clearing carry adding 28 to the accumulator then we're lo storing it in 2007 there you go, we, uh, sorry 9007 which is here so it's 28 now then we're loading the next character 9 at 8 adding 0 because if the carry is set which it's not store it back into there at, uh, compare 20 with Y if not go back and we're going to carry on doing this so 28, so that makes it 50, so it's 450, then 478, then 8, 4, A, O, C, 8. Now this one could be interesting. So we're loading 907, adding 28, which is F, O. Right, so we're all right. So here we go. So we're loading 907, which is F, O, and then we're going to add 28 to it. Now the carry could, should get set. So the end result is 18 in the accumulator and there's 1 in the carry. So here, 9008 should be 04, add 0, 
becomes 5 because we had the carry and then store it and then this number should change to 04 from 0418 to 0518 there you go and then we carry on so we'll just whiz 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 through it so we're looking for y here we go we're at 13 and we're now at 14 so it should jump out of this now there we go and as soon as we click F11 there you go the rast the um, screen refresher or the raster has completed its task and put A's through the diagonal like we had uh, done on there now like I say this piece of software is really really good so there you are there's the emulator mode and on its own then we've got the god mode as I call it I mean it's a beautiful thing so there's your code yeah so at the moment it's not following the uh, program counter it's following it's following where we left off this is an overview of the memory and I think this is zero this is um, yeah zero pages up here you can just see it flashing away basic kernel screen and then you've got zip the memory as a as uh, numbers and you can see things are changing color and each color represents a different thing there's one color for read one color for write one color for update and stuff like that and then you've got the same thing here but that's only the second screen then you've got this screen which is a completely different one this is focused more on the um, the VIC chip then you've got another one which is more focused on the interrupts and then you've got another one which is on the SID chip and it goes on and it goes on and this is the debug mode and it goes on oh that's uh, settings so oh there's another one another you know, I mean, it's this piece of software is brilliant so so this is why Arthur's um, um, had put this uh, has, has created an interface for this now what I'm going to show you now is uh, we're going to put a breakpoint right I'm going to put a breakpoint there so I'm going to toggle a breakpoint and we're going to put a breakpoint at the very start in fact we're not going to put it there we are going to let's toggle it I'm going to put it on there like we did before so I'm going to put it on that line there so putting a break point there and just for we'll put a break point there now if you do debugger now oops I didn't want to do that yeah good job it's errored right debug now there we go so if we go into god mode there we go and we tell it stop and we page up in the oops, don't want to put a break point there. Go up. We should, if we go to 9000, we should have some break points. There you go. And so the break points have transferred from CBM Studio to here. So when we do run, if we do say, so let's start the, um, there we go. So we've started it off. If we do do sys 4096 times by nine oh <coughs> can't type 4096 times by nine there we go it's broke at the first break point that we put in so so that's the extra bit of CBM Project Studio. So what? Uh, sorry, CBM. Uh, pro sorry, that's the added feature in the new version of CBM Project Studio. Is that it interfaces to the, the Commodore 64 debug uh, application or system? 
and I'm going to do another video just purely about that debugger because it is very very feature rich it does so much stuff so much stuff and I think this has enhanced Arthur's software immensely since he's done this so I will say tatty bye for now and sorry that this video is now run past the half hour mark but I think it was needed to to also do the new feature that Arthur had put into it so with that I will say tatty bye and I'll see you in the next video take care bye